So coming back to a location I've been to in a previous video today, the place is called Levant Tin Mines, really stunning location over on the north coast of Cornwall. And um, the plan really is to try and find some new compositions. Conditions are quite nice now, it was quite overcast this morning. We've now got a mixture of sun and cloud uh, with a strong northerly wind, but it's been so hot here recently. Uh, it's nice to have these cooler conditions back, back down to about 21 degrees Celsius, which is uh, more normal for here. Um, yeah, so yeah, get down there. It's a really beautiful spot down there. It's really rugged, windswept, part of the coastline. Lots of interesting buildings and structures. And it's just, well, it's just a place I'd love to go to, with or without my camera, you know. Such a beautiful spot. So yeah, get down there so we can find some new compositions and just enjoy where we are. So I made it back out to Levant on the North Cornish coast. Uh, really interesting location here, lots of uh, build buildings and mines and interesting things to photograph. Uh, last time I was here was in the middle of winter, so it's very different now. It's been so hot here recently, temperatures have been really, really high, but today is much cooler again. It's uh, down to around about 20 degrees. I've got a lovely onshore breeze here, keeping the temperatures down, so it really is lovely to just to be out. So I've just um, set the camera up here. I'm gonna get my first image, um, basically looking through the grass here uh, just catching the top of the old mine shaft there, or not mine shaft, a building, um, with the sea in the distance there, and some nice clouds on the horizon. I've stuck on a uh, red filter, and uh, exposure time is 1 60th of a second at f16. So I'm going to grab this one. Uh, yeah, just going to have a good wander around, see if we can find some different um, compositions from the last time I was here. Um, really beautiful day. After the last few days, it's been so uh, oppressive, the heat, you know, it's just been un really un uncomfortable but it's much fresher today, so it's going to be a really, really pleasure just to wander around and see if we can get some nice images. So I'm going to grab this one first. So I'm going to grab a couple of images here. I really like the way these walls lead you up to the chimney there. Uh, there's a bit of interest in the sky still. Um, I stuck on a graduated filter to hold down the sky again. Uh, settings wise, 1 30 of a second f22. I just love the way these walls lead you into the chimney. Um, should make quite a strong light there, lead in line. Um, and also I'm going to include one with the two chimneys over in the distance. Uh, so I have one with just the one chimney in the middle uh, and then another image with the uh, two chimneys over to the left which are included in the image. Uh, shooting with the 50mm wide angle lens and I am shooting Ilford FP4. So I'm going to grab these two images. Uh, the light is fading away a bit now, uh, it's going a bit flat but I'm going to finish up the roll anyway. Like I say it's just a beautiful spot to be in. Um, hopefully we'll get some images, <laughs> they're not going to be the best images again but uh, you know working with what we got, doing the best we can so yeah but as long as you're enjoying yourself that's the main thing and hopefully you're enjoying yourself too. Uh, and yeah, see how they come out. So grab these two here. So 
So I've set the camera up on the edge of the cliff here. It's absolutely jaw-dropping, the scenery here. It really is beautiful. Looking down with all the layers there on the cliffs going along and the sky now as well. Some really beautiful light behind the cloud, giving some nice detail in that sky, which should come up really lovely with black and white, especially with the graduated filter. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for these shots. I'm going to take a couple of different shots here. Um, just trying to capture the raw beauty of the coastline and the cliffs and the light coming through. Uh, I'm going to get one just including the cliffs and the water and the sky. And I'm going to do a second shot uh, with the uh, chimney on the left there uh, to give you a bit more idea of your surroundings, uh, to, you know, make it a bit more interesting. But yeah, these two images, I think these might be quite promising, these ones. So I've decided to stick on the 10 stop filter. It's going to uh, give me an exposure time of one minute to F16. And I'm hoping the uh, movements in the water around the uh, rocks there is really going to add to the image. Uh, so yeah, 10 stop, uh, one minute, F16. I'm going to grab this one. Uh, hopefully it'll be um, an interesting image. So I feel that was pretty successful. I managed to get two rolls of film shot. The first one was a, a roll of Roly 400 infrared film, uh, which I just shot as normal without the infrared filter. Um, I was going to do a little bit of infrared photography, but I've done, a, done quite a lot of that recently, so I thought I'd just leave that for today. And then the second roll was uh, Ilford FP4. Uh, so I managed to get 20 shots altogether. Um, the light was, it wasn't the best light today, but there's some nice sky coming through. Um, so I'm hoping that's come out nicely. Um, but as they say, it was really lovely just to get out. Lovely conditions here on the north coast today. Really pleasant, lovely and cool. Yeah, and it's been really, really nice just to get out and have some nice time out to myself. So um, yeah, once again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you give us uh, a subscription and a like, that'd be amazing. Thank you very much and I'll see you all again soon. Thank you.